you know, a handful of people are going to get silly rich and the rest of us are going to be driving cars for Uber part-time or, you know, whatever the, the business model is. And I don't think in, I, I like to see us evolve into an era with a constant proliferation of business models that meet the needs of smaller subsets of the population, as opposed to a predominant business model that meets the needs of a lot of people, but a lot of people's needs go unmet because the model wasn't designed for them. And so I'm hoping we get into an era where there's a constant flow of new business models in, some of which will get huge, and yes, people are going to get rich, you know, and that's okay with me, uh, but there, those business models are constantly going to be challenged to meet the needs of smaller subsets you know, of, of the population. Uh, and it's an exciting time. I, I'm, I'm very optimistic about this because... It's the proliferation of these business models that are going to allow us to solve some of the big social challenges that we have. And I want to see the environment that allows those to proliferate a lot more. So I'm optimistic uh, about the future, but I'm not naive about the impact of those transitions and what it means for us uh, in society when we're affected by them. You know, it's what I said in... Uh, what I, uh, what I said in Alex's book, you know, when he asked me for a quote, you know, and I said, uh, everybody loves uh, innovation until it affects them, right? And it's just true, right? 